What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to a brand new series. Here we are with Sam and Max Hit the Road. Those of you that have been following along with my previous Sam and Max playthrough, season one of uh, the Sam and Max series made by Telltale Games called Sam and Max Save the World, we agreed that we we're going to jump into Sam and Max Hit the Road. Um, before we go to season two and three because they're planning on doing a remaster. But if you are new here, welcome. I do have obviously season one that you can go and watch, but apparently this was released uh, more than 10 years before that. So, you know, I don't think it bears any connection to that. So either way, you can jump in, join with me on this one, have some fun, or you can go and watch the other one. It doesn't matter. We'll be here when you come back. But anyway, we are here. I haven't played this before. I've obviously uh, started filming after the opening. We'll go back and do the opening shortly. But I know basically nothing about this. I've played some old VGA games. I used to play a lot of Monkey Island growing up. I used to play uh, some other ones that I can't think of off the top of my head now. Um, I think there was one about some guy going to the Amazon and like dinosaurs or something. I can't remember. There were a lot of ones that I played, but I am generally not familiar with most of the, the games from that era. So this here is kind of a little bit of a new experience to me. I haven't played this through Steam um, and I kind of know how the mechanics work where you like walk and talk and things like that. You do different things with the mouse, but know next to nothing about this version of Sam and Max. So I've skipped all of the opening. I haven't watched it. Um, and I don't know if the voice acting is at all the same. I don't really know what the story's about, but I'm just excited to dive into it with you guys. So before we get started, I just want to thank those of you who watched season one with me. It was one really, 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 really fun um, experience. And honestly, I know that I, I didn't seem too emotionally uh, upset about it at the end but as soon as like I stopped filming at the end of season one it kind of hit me and I got a little bit teary afterwards if I'm being honest but you know that's just because it was so much fun playing with you guys and it was weird having that experience be over but of course we're not done we are here and we're carrying on and we're going to play every single Sam and Max game that has been released and maybe future ones if they ever release them but before I ramble on too long let's just get started with it so we're going to go ahead and we're going to start from the beginning. Get ready. I have seriously missed Sam and Max. <laughs> Friends? Friends? We've only gone out together three times and already you're telling me you just want to be friends. You never already? gave me a chance and for that... No one You'll has to give you a chance. Like a pork sausage. Whoa, that's mean. Not that I don't like you, it's just that, well, you're too nice a guy, I guess. <laughs> I think I'd rather go out with someone more of the unpredictable. Wow, Sam Max is so dark. Ah, here they are. <gasps> so good to see him. Oh my goodness. Ah, there's my buddies. I missed them. Hello, good to see you too. This doesn't look like the Lincoln Tunnel, Sam. Oh my Looks goodness! Looks to me like a marginally volatile hostage situation, Max. They got Phil on New York does this accent. Mean we get to kick some puffy white mad scientist butt? Oh yeah, Can't I'd love to do that. Not to. <laughs> You'll be of no use, freelance police. With the flip of a lever, my ungrateful lunch date will be reduced to a half cup of disoriented atomic matter. Wow, I knew he wasn't talk. a real doctor. Uh, shall I confront Talk some about nerd in the basement complex. Sam? Sick him up, little buddy. <laughs> ah, whoa, just like that. Ooh. Ow. Hey, nice one. Yeah. <laughs> huh? He's not a real guy, Sam. Whoa. Can I keep his head for a souvenir? Why do you suppose it's ticking? Jeepers no creepers. Head, Max. It's one damned ugly time bomb. Let's leave this criminal cesspool pronto. Good idea, Sam. Maybe we can ditch the head somewhere while the credits are running. Mind if I drive? <laughs> take her with you. Don't Not leave her. You don't mind me clawing at the dash and shrieking like a cheerleader. <laughs> Sam, is pronto a real word? Goodbye, Sam and Max. In other words, it's going out. Never forget all you've done here today. <laughs> just leave her tied up? What? She's just going to sit there. <gasps> That is such a Sam and Max thing to do. And she's just there like, um, guys. 
Wow, ah, it is good to be back. It's a totally different um, logo style. And definitely feeling the 90s vibe. But I'm excited. So how about, you guys tell me, how many of these people who were, oh, wow, they got a bat symbol for, for Max. That's amazing. How many of these guys uh, who worked on it ended up working on the Telltale games? I I know this was done at LucasArts, so the same people who did Monkey Island. Um, but let me know. I, I feel like Steve Purcell wrote the comic book, but I don't really know much about the others. Or if any of them were even at Telltale. I should have paid attention to the Telltale credits. Oh man, beating on the clown, that's just me. And <laughs> Sam just reading the book in the background. Very typical. I must be honest, their voices are very different. Um, I wasn't expecting full of New York accents, but that's fine. You know, we'll, we'll just pretend this is a, a different multiverse or a different universe in the multiverse. <laughs> How's my aim? Call 1-800 Star Wars. Wow. Oh, wow. Jeez, they are really not even being subtle. <laughs> they I, I. This is the 90s. I feel like this would have upset people. Wow. Jeepers. There's Sam with his banjo again. And Max playing bongo on skulls. That's just crazy. We're back in the office. Totally different view. Well, that was a pleasantly understated credit sequence. <laughs> so it's I enjoyed very low the cheesy retro ambiance. What the hell are you talking about, Max? <laughs> Either he knows. Are burrowing through He's my talking skull, to me from the past. Oops. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, is that Jimmy Two Teeth who just ran out of the the, the hole? Max, or is that just a random rat? This so it doesn't hurt anyone we know or care about. Out the window, Sam. <laughs> There's nothing but strangers <laughs> out there. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that is so typical! Oh, wow! I hope there was nobody on that bus. Oh my goodness! Nobody we know, at least. Well, you won't ever know them now. <laughs> I knew they were gonna run for it and fight it, fight over it. Wow! Jeez, you threw Max out the window. Hello? Yes, yes, yes. No. Really? Well, the same to you, Mac. Come on, say something useful. Another confused census taker? <laughs> Actually, it was the commissioner with another idiotic and baffling assignment. Uh, good old commissioner. Does it involve wanton destruction? We can only hope. Due to the arbitrarily sensitive nature of the mission, we'll be meeting a bonded city courier out on the street. Ooh, smells like a fiercely thickening plot. Could you tell me what the plot is? Because this is... Wow. <laughs> I must be honest, I already like this version of Sam and Max. I, I was absolutely in love with Telltale versions, Telltale Games' version of it, but <laughs> Sam here is just so much cooler. He's just like, you know what? It's almost like Sam and Max are kind of the same person this time. I do miss Buddy Sam, um, who was just kind of nice and warm, but uh, it's it's fun seeing them just both be like children. Maybe Sam grew up and Max never grew up in the 10 years between this and season one. But anyway, let's get into it. So let's see if we can familiarize, familiarize myself with the controls. So usually there's like a task bar somewhere where you can change what you're doing. This is just one mouse button or you press tab to like switch between them. Okay, I guess not. You have an inventory though. Oh, okay. You have to go into the inventory to use your verbs. So that's got to be look, use, talk, give. Uh, oh, that's close the inventory. And that's Max. It's my little buddy, ready for action. Can I talk to Max? I can't talk to that. You can't talk to Max. What you talking about? He's right there. Okay, so these are all verbs. Based oh, I dig. Okay, it's coming back now. You can right click to switch between them. That's what I was expecting. Okay. So you can sort of identify objects by the little cursor changes a little bit. Okay, it's all coming back to me. This is this is a real blast from the past. It reminds me of when I was a kid. Wow. Okay, so we're here in the office. Let's, first things first, let's chat to Max. If we just walked him, nothing's gonna happen. Uh, it's Max. Yes, it is Max. 
Oh. Whoa, we can use Max on things? I can't use these things together. Ah. Uh. Oh, okay, I see. Okay, I see. You use an object. And Max is in our inventory, apparently. Because if I... Oh. Yes, he is in our inventory. So if I went use uh, Max and then clicked on something... That is cool. Can I use him on the dartboard? I can't use these things together. <laughs> okay, let's chat to Max. See what he's got to say. Chat to me a little bit. Oh, what is this? Okay, we got question... Questions, exclamations, rubber ducky. What? Okay. I'm gonna have to go through these guys. This is very different from what games I was used to. Are you as confused as I am? Yes, I'm freaking confused. More so, More so okay. Uh, but now he's popped up there. What? What should we do now? I'd like to spend the rest of the day harassing pigeons, but we should probably meet the commissioner's contact. Okay, so th that's like a, a clue button. What should we do now? I'd like to spend the rest of the day well, harassing pigeons, but we should probably meet the commissioner's contact. It's good that they, they give us clues. That helps. Okay, and this? I'm excited. <laughs> who isn't? You don't look excited. Am I the only one who feels excited here, bub? Because y'all just look dead. Well, okay, Max is permanently excited. I, you know, the perfect example of when your your parents say to you, um, careful or that, or that face will stick. I think that's basically what happened to Max. All right. I'm excited. Who is it? Is it just like, let's talk about something? I don't know. What's the rubber ducky? I'm thinking of a number between one and ten, and I don't know why. Me too. <laughs> and I don't know why? I'm thinking of a number between one and ten, and I don't know why. That's Me crazy. Too. So I think you can skip dialogue by pressing full stop. This is all very di different because it's it's running in ScumVM, which is like a um, emulator for these old games. Um, so I have to like remember all of the controls. It's been a long time. What's a good word, little buddy? Oh, he's not saying something different. Synergy. Synergy. My mind is a swirling miasma of scintillating thoughts and turgid ideas. Me too. Max, you say nothing in this game. I miss the target of Max. My mind is a swirling. Okay. Me too. Full stop. Definitely skips. Now, what does a hand do? Well, that's all. That leaves the conversation. Okay. But what was the Max thing? As I am? More so. Give me the Max thing. What You're is that? You're looking hale and hearty, little buddy. I'm a coffee achiever, Sam. Oh, is that like further dialogue options? Mmm, I'm... Well, that's all. I feel like I need a manual for this game. Okay, let's have a look around. So... We have the TV. Let's We've look at the TV. We've been through a lot together, this TV and I. <laughs> yeah, we watched Myra Stump and everything. I know that that happens afterwards, guys. I know. I can't pick that up. Can we take the... I can't pick that up. Aw, oh, man! I wanted the My antenna. My coat hanger antenna. I'm an electronics genius. Uh... Why does that switch to... Oh! That's a closed eye! I was like, why is it switching to lips? I'm very confused. Now, Jimmy Two TT in there. All invested in that rat hole. Only because the rat stole it. No! He's just gonna go for it. Cash. Never leave home without it. Just like that, yeah, we're rich. Yeah, we may need it to bribe slippery government officials. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! That is cool. Okay. But there's nothing else in there? I already cleaned it out. I want to talk to Jimmy Two Teeth though. I assume he's probably just not there. I already cleaned it out. Okay, so the most recent item is like the default that appears there. Okay, let's uh, well, let's have a look at the dartboard. Vertical silverware storage. Vertical silverware storage. That's a creative way of using it, I guess. Just collect it. Oh, we're gonna try again. Whoa! It even. Oh no, it landed the same way. Hang on, I, I want to see. Does it land somewhere different each time? Oh no, it's exactly the same. I just wasn't paying attention. All right, let's have a look outside the window. Jimmy Two Teeth, I see you. I see you, buddy. You may not have a name yet, but I see you. Um, we can't even do anything with the windows. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> I wanted to throw Maxi Boy out there. Okay, um, what else you got? Oh, there's a... Ooh, wait, 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 There's our good old-fashioned cupboard. 
And here's the the ants. Wait, what? It's Max's roach farm. Roaches? <laughs> Scary. It's Max's roach farm. But you ain't got nothing to feed him now. I can't pick that up. Ha! Huh. Wow, okay. Uh, what else you got going on here? It's a black light that Max uses to illuminate his rare 60s posters. Okay, let's take the black light. This is not gonna go well, but... <laughs> uh... I don't want any Jackson Pollock paintings in here, please. Seems like there's very little to interact with here. Hang on. What do I see there? There is something here! Is that just the edge of the screen that goes like that? Okay. Uh, got a ribbon. It's fascinating having so much less to interact with. It's definitely a different experience. Do I get Max to interact with these things? Oh, do I have to... Oh, okay. hmm. I can't use these things together. Let's see. Max, do you want to interact with the virtues? Yeah, okay. Max is having none of it today. <laughs> All right, uh, let's have a look at the answering a machine. Primitive answering machine. It's an eight track. Does that mean it's got like eight storage slots? I'm not too familiar with answering machines. This is no time for chit chat. What? I want to hear the messages, bub. This is no time for chit chat. But this phone represents unhindered contact with the outside world. <laughs> Re Until they represents. realize we don't pay the bills. <laughs> Yeah, then you will have no contact with the outside world. One mighty fine light switch. Use it? I can't pick that up. Flip it! Jeepers! How do you not know how a light switch works? <laughs> okay, so I think we have to meet the person outside. If I remember correctly. Flint paper, is that uh, like an extra office? Let's see what's on the roof. I'm just curious. We don't go upstairs. Oh, we don't go upstairs. We don't Not talk about what's up the there. Accident. Not since the accident. Jeepers. <laughs> what do you guys even do? Joe, you want a piece of me, huh? Well, take a piece of this. Brutal. Wow, he got but stuck on his, to life. his chin. Very true to life. And here's one for your old <laughs> man. Duck. Oh. Smiley, wow. I really respect Flint's business acumen. <laughs> Please, Sam, don't use the word acumen again. <laughs> that is amazing. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Yes, he had it coming to him. Gratuitous acts of senseless violence are my forte. Oh. You're such an adorable urchin, <laughs> Max. Oh, Max. Oh, man. I have missed you. I've missed you so much. Look at the smiley face you got here, guys. That's amazing. So, can we... And I want to go inside. I want to chat to Flint. I guess Flint isn't in a talkative mood. Let's see what's downstairs. Oh! Things are so much dirtier. Wow. And talk about grunge aesthetic from the 90s. Wow, that cat looks a little messed up. Is this our contact? Is it the cat? Oh, it's a cute little hypercephalic kitten. I'll call him Mitten because I think he'd make a fine pair of them. Whoa! <laughs> Wait, what did you just do with that? Is that blood? Did you just like stick your finger in it, Max? I won't pick that kitten up. I don't know where he's been. Um... He, well, not on Max's hands yet. Hey there, little fella. You got the answer? You talking to me? I should have figured. I mean, we we're a talking dog and a talking bunny. I don't know why I'm surprised. <laughs> Everything talks in this universe except the pigeons. Well, maybe they chat. That's crazy. Look at you. Maybe. Are you a cleverly disguised bonded city courier? Maybe. Are you the freelance police? Yes, but don't go blabbing it to everybody. <laughs> I think he's kind of cute, Sam. Can I make a tennis racket out of him? Maybe later, Max. But maybe later. Right now, we've got a message from the commissioner to collect. Uh, oh, yeah, right. Oh, oh here, here, come, here comes a, a message ball. <laughs> Jeepers, talk about storage. Sorry, guys. Okay, I come on. Your orders for safekeeping. Don't take so long. Just be done with it. Well, now I can't seem to hawk them back up. Oh, we have to solve that. Okay. That's the next puzzle. Okay. Uh. Hey there, little fella. Let's see what else you have to chat about them before you run away. You talking to me? 
Uh, no. I, I, I mean, do you see any other cats here? Uh, I don't. I certainly didn't in season one. Um, don't get smart with me, bub. Or my partner will floss every last crevice on his body with your whiskers. <laughs> That's unsanitary, Sam. That's the point. <laughs> I think I figured out the question mark and the exclamation mark. I think it's question or or intimidate. It's like good cop, bad cop. Yeah, good cop, bad cop vibes. And certain, hey there, little fella. You talking to me? Certainly, when I seem to do the the intimidation, Sam, Max seems to be a bit lighter on things. Whereas if I ask questions, Max is a little heavy handed. I don't know. Maybe that's my theory, but we'll we'll see what happens. What is this? Is, is the rubber duck just supposed to be to talk about random shiz? Your head is disturbingly disproportionate to your body. Yeah, bad. It's a yes. vocal cords. You'd be amazed how much room they take up. You know, they take up your whole head? What kind of vocal cords do you have? Hey there, little fella. I guess it's from all the meowing at like, midnight or 1 a.m. Uh, I don't know what this hand is supposed to I represent. Guess not. Oh, right. I forgot. I'm used to like a stop sign or like a walk away sign or something. I'm not used to <laughs> a hand. I keep thinking he's going to slap someone, but no, that's not what he does. Not in this universe. Vehicles will be stolen. Will be. They're guaranteed. No way. No way, Jose. Can we shoot I it? I can't pick that I up. I want to shoot the no way sign. I missed that. I can't pick that up. Okay, we got... Oh, there's nothing there. Nothing doing. Okay. Uh, so we got to get him to hack up his stuff. Uh, it's a black light. Now, I'm pretty sure black lights reveal, like anything that will glow in the UV, right? It's more money than we'll ever need. Um, please don't tell me there are dead ends in this, guys. <laughs> I hope not. Um, can we bribe him into <laughs> coughing it up? I don't think he'd want that. Are you sure? I feel like if it's more money than you'd ever want, then lots of people might want it. Um, let's Soiled have a look here. A space available. Uh, no, it's not. It's mine. I, I don't, I'm I not giving it away. That up. Um, is Bosco still around? Oh, wait, can we walk to the left? No, that's a dead end. What about, what about trusty old Stinky? Is that his name? No, it's not Stinky. What was the, guys, what was the, the abandoned place where the cops were in season one? What was, what was its place? I thought he'd be left around the corner, but I guess maybe the layout has changed <laughs> in 10 years. Um... I want because I I was assuming that he would appear in this game, and I'm assuming a lot of people are going to appear in this game that weren't in the the Telltale version. So I hope we can find them at some point. This is our car. No, is it? I love this car. You're a sick puppy, Sam. You're a sick puppy, <laughs> Sam. Wow, for loving the car. I can't pick that up. Uh, what have we got here? I love this car. What is that on the back You're of it? You're a though? sick puppy, Sam. Or is that just? It's sometimes hard to tell with these VGA graphics. I think that's just... Whoa, can we walk behind this? I think that's just a street corner. Now there... Was, there was something else there that was not... In... That... Uh, sorry. In season one, there was something else there that is not here now. And it had some other name. I can't remember what it was. And this was where Bosco was, I think. And it does say Bosco's. For a second, I was like, I couldn't see Bosco's. But he's here! That is so cool! I hope... I hope he's... Just as funny as before. Oh, there's gonna be something through there. I betcha. Can we look through there? We gotta walk all the way around the car? I love this car. No! You're a sick puppy, Sam. I wanna see what's through the hole, but I guess maybe that's meant to be the car. Guys, I just realized that is the parking meter that we bent. Now I know what they were referring to. I'm gonna have to go back and, and check what they said. Pigeons! Max loves to chat to them all just day. Just a bunch of intoxicated so. pigeons. Can they talk? I'd rather not handle those winged rats. But Max would. I don't speak pigeon. You don't? Max, do you speak pigeon? Uh, Max does speak pigeon. Uh, no, Max. Max definitely speaks pigeon. Because he chats them all day. Nah, Max would just see how many of them he could stuff into his gaping maw. Actually, yeah, before you could chat to them, he'd do that. All right, Bosco's. Bosco's guns, liquor, baby needs. Wow. They really censored it to Bosco's inconvenience. This is a much more accurate uh, title because it's just definitely the kind of stuff that 
Sam and Max um, engage Bosco's in. Bosco's guns, liquor, baby needs. Uh. Somebody's been ripping off the U.S. Postal Service. What do you mean Steal ripping the off? mail? Are you nuts? Come on. You know you want to. All right, let's go chat hey, to good old Bosco. I don't think Mr. Bosco is voluntarily giving away his money. Oh, I'm real terrified. A dog and a rabbit. Ooh, scary. Max, the smart-ass kid doesn't think we're scary. What do you think about that? You gotta beat up Bosco? That's telling him, little buddy. No! I think that punk learned a valuable lesson, Sam. Me too, Max. I didn't realize that the lower lip could stretch completely over the head. Amazing. Or, wait, hang on. Was that guy trying to rob Bosco? Hang on, I gotta see that again. Jeez, Bosco. Aren't you ever gonna clean up this mess? Oh, he's not gonna talk? Jeez, Bosco. Aren't you ever gonna clean up this mess? Jeez, I... Bosco. Okay. Aren't you ever gonna clean up this mess? I suspect, I suspect that that was someone trying to rob Bosco. Because I was like, he sounds totally different. But you guys let me know if that was actually Bosco. If maybe this is the only cameo he gets in the whole game, I'm going to be so sad. Because Bosco was my man. I loved his different costumes. So it's going to be sad if we never actually see him. But maybe that'll change. Let's see. Can we walk across the street to this really bad food place? Really bad food. I think I want to go there. I can't pick that up. Let's go. You don't want to go there. Okay. Can we walk off the side of the screen? Where does that take us? Oh. It doesn't? And the car? I can't pick that up. Okay. In that case, let's chat to Max. He's going to have a clue of some sort for us. Give us a hint, Max. Are you Max. as confused as I am? More so. More so? You're looking hale and hearty, little buddy. I'm a coffee achiever, Sam. What should we do now? I'd like to spend the rest of the day harassing pigeons, but we should probably meet the commissioner's contact. We he's right there. He's literally right there. Well, that's all. Okay. Buddy, you're going to have to talk now. You're going to have to talk. Hey there, little fella. You talking to me? Yes, I'm talking to you. Now Are give you me your answers. Are you coughing up our orders again? Sure. Sorry, no dice. No dice. Maybe I could help Sam. I was about to suggest we whack him with Max. Oh. Max is... Wait, no. He's not the last... Oh, oh. Blah, blah, blah. He's not the last option. He's just an inventory item. That's why he's at the end. Come I on, Max. I love to turn this guy inside out. You know you want to, Max? Oh, that gives me an idea. Oh, he's actually probably going to do it. No, I don't want it. That was gratuitous. According to these orders, something bizarre is happening at the carnival. Well, I thought that was the first the time point. I'm, first time hearing of a carnival. Maybe we should check it out when we've got nothing better to do, like any time. Like now? No. How about next week? <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we have passed the 20 minute mark. Um, I know we didn't get too far into it, but to be fair, I, I feel like the game takes a little while to do some figuring it out. So just to, whoa, is this the item in our inventory? Hang on, let's have a more a closer look at it before it's I pull it quits. our orders from the commissioner, telling us to hightail it down to the carnival. No surprises there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna call it quits there. So I, as of the time of filming this, I am moving this next week. I'm changing where I'm, I'm staying for my studies. So I will probably not have as much time to edit things in general. So this is probably going to be the only episode of this week. And there might be, you know, we might just stick with once a week for a little bit while I sort things out and get into the new place and settle down and all of that. Once I'm back into things, we'll definitely be jumping back into twice a week as we did with Sam and Max season one. So I'm looking forward to seeing you guys next time. We're definitely going to uh, run through all of this game and we'll be waiting for news about whether they're going to release the season two remaster anytime soon. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I've really enjoyed just diving into this already. It's such a blast from the past. And as much as Sam and Max are different, it's kind of fun. They're like gangsters who call themselves cops. <laughs> it's hilarious. They're like the, the cop mafia in a sense. Um, they could give the toy mafia a rundown <laughs> uh, or a shakedown, I guess. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time when Sam, well, when Max gets a bit sick of the blood that he's 
poke in there. I don't know what the blood is from. Oh, you know what it is? It's probably from the bus. It's probably from the bus. <laughs> I don't want to think about that. All right, see you guys next time on Sam and Max. Hit the road when we hit the road. Till then, stay safe and bye for now.